So here's an example of a slightly more complicated radical equation. We have uh, actually variables on both sides here. So when we square um, the one side, we'll get a, a squared term on it. So let's see what happens as we go through this one step by step, um, since it is slightly different. Obviously, our first uh, step here is to get rid of the squared symbol. So we need to square both sides. And our square will cancel that radical. And we'll get x squared minus 6 is equal to x plus 1 quantity squared. And since we're taking a binomial squared there, we can use our standard pattern, which should be a squared, in this case, x squared, plus 2ab, so 2 times x times 1, or just 2x, plus b squared, so 1 squared, to just plus 1. So now we can subtract x from both sides, or x squared, I mean, sorry. And that'll cancel, and cancel, and we'll have negative 6 equals... 2x plus 1, subtract 1 from both sides, we'll have negative 7 equals 2x, and then divide both sides by 2. 2's will cancel here, and we'll get negative 3 and a half equals x. Then we just need to check our answer. We'll put that 3 and a half up in place of x in our original equation. So we'll have square root of three and a half squared minus six equals, I'm sorry, negative three and a half, equals negative three and a half plus one. And then we'll have negative three and a half squared. That's what, uh, 12 and a quarter. So we have square root of 12 and a quarter minus 6 equals negative 3.5 plus 1, which is negative 2.5. Then we have 12 and a quarter minus 6 is 6 and a quarter. So we have square root of 6 and a quarter equals negative 2.5. And, and the square root of 6 and a quarter is 2.5. So we have 2.5 or negative 2.5 equals negative 2.5. So obviously negative two and a half is one of our solutions here that does work. So our answer x is negative three and a half is valid and can be used.